In this video, we're going to explain how to set up the sensor hub with the microboard. In a previous video, we already talked about how to set up the trigger assignments. So you go to CV208 and we put in a 1 there, so whatever the switch address is using DCC, in that case 3, would trip it off. In the case where you're not using DCC, after you've configured it, uh, and actually this would apply whether you've configured it with DCC or with the main unit. We now have this in blink mode and we've had it set to uh, trigger one. So you just take the sensor hub, uh, there's a top side and a bottom side, the wires, visible wires are on the bottom, clean on the top, and you just plug it in and that's all there is to it. Okay, now the cable here uh, you can see that there's a black wire. There's only one black wire on this cable. And uh, if you plug it in here, this is pins 9 through 16. If you plug it in here, it's pins 1 through 8. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, we now make sure, turn the power off before you turn anything on. When you plug in the microboard to power, in this case 12 volts here, We have to wait for the board to boot up. We could have put it into fast boot mode, but let's just, all right, so now it blinked uh, four times, and you'll notice that pin one is not moving because it's already set to trigger. And I'm gonna take the ground and this uh, white wire, which is pin one, and just touch them together, and you can see that that triggers the light, okay? Now there are two aspect. This is getting into a kind of advanced mode, uh, but if you wanted to be able to control the, the triggers from DCC and the DCC system, you've got an option. Um, in this out-of-the-box mode, the default mode, a change in the pin will change it. So if I have this on and I have this connected to DCC and I turn it off with the DCC, it will go off. The other mode, which is called Detect Absolute, will have the sensor hub, whatever the pin can, whether it's on or off, override DCC. If it's off, DCC can turn it on, but if it's on, DCC cannot turn it off. So it's going to just follow the sensor hub as, as the uh, absolute status uh, as opposed to a change status. I know that sounds a little complicated, some experimentation, uh, you'll, you'll work it out. That's a pretty rare circumstance where you're going to try to run the sensors and DCC switching at the same time. Uh, just know that it's possible. Now if you wanted to hook this up and run it off of a uh, precision sensor, power the board, power the micro board off of a power module and power your precision detector off the same power module. It could also be a 12 volt supply. We have that as well. As long as they're on the same power supply, all you have to do, you don't even need the ground wire in that case. All you do is connect the signal wire from the precision detector to the input line, whichever input line you're using out of the eight. And when you wave your hand in front of the sensor, it will trigger it just as if it's shorting it to ground, just like this. So uh, you can have a lot of animations going as the train goes by. And in fact, uh, you don't have to change anything that you have on your layout. If you have sensors in there that are doing crossings or they're doing uh, block signals or any of those, you can just hook them up to the sensor and uh, the sensor hub and then program the lighting as you'd like. Now we're, we've been using the LED one, but of course, uh, once you've got it configured and tested the way you want, uh, you can just take your other micro board, plug in the, the output uh, for the LEDs, buildings, and you know other things out there, and, it, and just run it that way. Just program it the same way you program the, the uh, LED version.